Greetings everybody, this is Offshore CISO and welcome back again to another video. Anyway, uh, it's been a while since I made a video and uh, it's, you know, I'm on and off for one month. And starting from now, I'll be off for three months, so I'll try to release as much content as possible. Although I do have a lot of side uh, projects that I want to do other than making videos, I'll try to put in some gameplay of uh, as much as possible. Okay. Anyway, uh, now this video is about Epic Game Store. Okay, I have nothing against Epic Game Store's platform. Okay, I like Steam. I like all the other platforms, but I, I just don't like how Epic Game Store run their business. Okay, um, you know you, they have a lot of money uh, that they they made through Fortnite, and that's the game they're gonna highlight to the ends of the world until they go bankrupt. No, <laughs> but that's possibly a long way to go, and it's not that easy to come up with a, a really good game that everybody enjoys. So uh, that said, I have nothing against Epic, just that the way they, they run it and the way they do their business, uh, I think it's, it's not a really good way or a good thing for the industry or the good thing for consumers. I don't think it's a good thing for consumers. It's probably good for developers, but in the long run, it's actually it's, there will be side effects. Now, the thing is, why are the developers going to the Epic? game store to, to, to join Epic in the exclusivity of their games. Firstly, you know, they're getting 88%. You know, the uh, Epic's just taking 12% of the profit, whereas uh, Steam gets 30 or they're asking for 30. Okay, I think maybe that that's the deal to use different kind of a platform. Anyway, uh, Epic before did mention in the article that if uh, Steam were to reduce their their percentage, they would stop, uh, you know, paying it for exclusive games, exclusive games. So, uh, I wish Steam took took them out on that that challenge, and and then I wonder what would Epic would do. Would would they stop? Maybe not. I don't think so, because <laughs> they're trying to kickstart their Epic Game Store. You know, it, it has one of the worst menu, it's my, my, my opinion anyway. And then there's their extra fun, they call it. Or they're paying the developers so that they can have a uh, one year, six month exclusive. You know, the only game so far that I know that's um, six month exclusive is Borderlands 3. Uh, that's last I heard, I'm not sure if it changed uh, during that time until now. But uh, last I heard, yes, it was six months, and all the other games that were paid to be exclusive on uh, uh, on Epic was all one year. Now, what what are the developers telling consumers once they have that deal with Epic? It's what's a, a bit concerning, you know. Uh, they they're saying that the Epic platform is the best platform for their games okay and they're also saying that it's the you know they want exposure that's what i think okay but we'll get uh to talk to that about that a bit on a later a bit more okay another thing is uh they're telling us that they're getting the fun but they're not actually telling but everybody knows it and it's it's being uh Told everybody knows that they're paying millions to companies with really good games to make the game exclusive. Okay, and there's a reason why they're doing that. I think in another thing that they mentioned, but I, I'm not really hundred percent sure. Once they sign the exclusivity, and then once the game get released, the games get to be on the highlighted, meaning I'm guessing it's on the top page for one week. For one week. <laughs> that isn't a lot actually. I would have preferred the deal to be one month if I were the developers. Okay, one week isn't that much. Okay, you got you got other games that they're going to be showing up there, but they, they better, you know. One week is just. <laughs> okay, so you know they're also saying it's the it's good for the game and good for 
the the best platform. But uh, to me, that's not entirely true. So before we discuss about this, we have to remember that all the game developers are foremost a company, and the main reason why people make companies is to make profit. Okay, so that you really have to understand that that business runs on money. Okay, if they don't have money, how are they going to sustain the employees? How are they going to sustain the company? So we have to really think about that uh, after we after this, you know, and why they made the decision to do so, especially for small companies. Okay, so now let's just debunk some of or um, not debunk. You know, let's discuss, you know, uh, the, the 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 pros and cons. Maybe I don't, I'm not sure that's the right word. So the the first thing that they're telling us is that Epic is the best platform. Now there might be a little truth to it. Because the truth is that Epic is only where it is because of Fortnite Battle Royale, okay, and that's the the game that's making them the top bucks. To, that they're making them billions, basically millions, maybe per week. Okay, selling selling the skins. It's a free game. Okay, so it's a free game. They don't actually have to buy it, but people are spending money on it, and they got a lot of streamers on it, you know. And it's a free game, so this mean from from teenagers to young kids to adults are possibly playing it. Okay, so when developers see this, especially small companies, uh, they think that their game is going to get exposed to the same player base of Fortnite to their games. That's what they think. They, 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 they want more people to know their game. So that's why they're deciding to put it on an Epic Game Store, hoping that the same player base sees this and they will in turn want to play their games. Okay, but remember, Epic Game Store. I mean, Fortnite. It's a free game. The other games that are exclusively one year on the Epic Game Store are not free games, and that's. Probably why you're not gonna get that uh, same amount of pie that Fortnite is having. Probably, probably get some, you know, a few thousand maybe. Uh, but a few thousand is not actually good for for big companies. You know, they want thousands. Okay, they want everybody to know their game. But I don't think that's gonna happen because Fortnite players are basically Fortnite addicts. <laughs> they don't see other games. No, and like I said, you know the majority of Fortnite players are kids, and kids between nine. You know they they keep making the job nine year olds. They're actually all nine year olds. You know, look at uh, Ninja's fan base. You know, Ninja's fan base, when he comes to a, 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 a convention or TwitchCon, you see kids around him <laughs> watching him play. That's his fan base. You know, mostly are kids. And kids don't have access to their parents' credit card. Okay, if your children have your credit card number with them, you have issues. <laughs> because where I'm from, children at nine or, or or teenagers even they don't even have the parents' credit card number or the parents' even subsidiary uh, credit card. Okay, so it, it doesn't happen where I'm from. So if you have that, you know you should not. Be having your kids having hold of your credit card, but they go wild, and you got nobody else to blame but yourself. Okay, they can't control themselves. That's what I'm saying. Now, the developers are saying that they want the game to be more exposure. You know that there is other ways to make the game exposed, uh, exposure to other other uh, gamers. You know, like look how CD Projekt Red's doing it. Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, now look, Cyberpunk is on pre-order on Steam. It's pre-order on GOG, and it's pre-order on Epic. Just mean it has three places, and it's exposed to all these three audiences as well. You know, all the all potential customers that three places. You know, so 
CD Projekt Red's doing it right, you know. You actually get more exposure when you put it everywhere, okay. Maybe what uh, Epic should be doing is, you know, if you come on my store, you pay us a certain amount, and I'll put your game highlight how long you want as long as you pay me. You know, <laughs> to me that that should be the case. You know, it's not that way around where Epic is paying them. It should be the developers paying uh, the, the platform. So the platform is just a way to communicate to consumers, and so that's how it should be, if you ask me. Now let's talk about the funds, or the payment to the developers here. So you know, nobody is blaming any developer for taking the money. Put yourself in the developer's position. You know, you're running the company, and you want the best for your game. But also you have to think about financing. You don't make that money back until you sell that game. So basically, what I'm saying is that before you sell that game, you're already making profit. So that's how they they see it. So even if the tank the game tanks, they still made a profit from Epic. You know, so that they they still can get the, the the company rolling. They still can sustain the company. Okay, so that's that is the main thing. You no, know? remember, companies are there to make money, and that's that's the only reason why companies exist to make money. You know, it, they, they can get they can get all the other priorities later after they make a profit. This is definitely as well to smaller companies. You know that there are smaller developers that has less than ten people in their companies, and they're going to have to pay them. You now, if a game is in a year development and they don't make any money, you know that's why a lot of the a lot of the companies are going to Kickstarters, they're going to Patreon to get donation so that they can develop their games. This is for the small indie companies. Now, the problem with that is when you are a developer. That depends on Kickstarter's donation and Patreon's donation or sponsor, if you like to call it. You have already promised, okay, things to these donors. They're not giving you money just because you know, hey, I like your game. I'm gonna give you money for free. Now you, 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 the developers have already stated what they're gonna give. These people who donate to the game and helps them develop the game. the The main thing is be one of those people who uh, get involved with the development of the game. That's what they, they're always saying. But at the end of the day, says screw you, <laughs> surprise, Epic Game Store, <laughs> and those people who do, who donated are thinking, you know, I thought it was going to be on all the platforms. Not just one. It's like a kick in the head to everybody that donated to them. Now, like I said, you know the 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 the, the developers probably think you know they're afraid that the game might tank or won't make as much money. And it's proven in history that not all games coming out of Kickstarter actually make millions. Some does fail. So the fail safe is, I don't know, get one million, two million from Epic. And even the game fails, like I said, they're still in the green, as they say. They're still making the profit. But the developers have to remember: remember, if their first game tanked, are you really? Sure? <laughs> you should. You should be really concerned that your game did not work out, and whether you should be making a second one. Or a new uh, platform, or new 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 IP. Okay, so that's what the developers have to think about, really carefully. Okay. Now the thing is ab about that as well, when they kick the the donors and the sponsors aside, you lose that trust with them. So all those people that you just, you know, screwed. The next time you're releasing your next game, those people are not going to be buying your game. 
and they're not going to be pre-ordering your game because the trust not there. So you basically already lost your future customers. Even though you made a profit from the Epic Game Store cash and whatever profit they made after that in the sales of their game. A good example would this be is PGI's Mac Warrior 5. You know, they got a total of what, 20,000 uh, pre-orders, I believe. And then after the, the announcement of Epic Games, so I think they lost 4,000 from the Vogue Tech community and then they lost another 2,000 refunding. Yeah, about maybe 6,000. So you got 6,000, so they got about 14,000 left. And I, I'm not sure if the refunds are still going down or not. Yeah, but the last I heard, that was how many uh, people they lost. So, I mean, how many pre-orders they, they lost. So they really have to think about that. You know, they, 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 they did the same thing. They kicked the fan base and the trust from these people who helped them support the game to the curb. The next time those people, no matter how, how hardcore the, they are as fans for the Mac Warrior community, they're not going to pre-order the game. They're going to wait until it gets released. And if it sucks, they're not going to pay. And they're not going to fork out any money. Because the trust is not there. They don't care. You don't care about them. They don't care about you. Okay? That's how it works. Another problem with the developers is that they know they're getting the backlash when they announce the Epic Game. They're going to be releasing the Epic Game Store. So they come out with all sort of uh, excuses. Like we said earlier, now they think it's the best platform, blah, 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 all that, you know. But there is one developer that recently made the news on the quartering and Sid Alpha. Sid Alpha actually calls them uh, dirty devs now, categorize them that. The reason is that you know, they took the Epic Game Store's uh, deal and then they started to look down on their own community and they, sta they even stated that they have true community and they keep calling those some of the people's babies and entitled gamers maybe <laughs> they call them I saw I, I saw the it on uh, the quartering and I saw it on Sid Alpha's YouTube channel. I saw it on a few more also where you know they, they just they just became really snobbish and they started to talk down to everybody that was concerned, even those that were stating really rational thoughts, you know, they just didn't care what they think. Now if you're going to go to the Epic Game Store and you know there's backlash that's not the right way to do it. You basically just alienated yourself from all the people that were actually supporting you. And like I said, you lose future customers. So actually the, the, the developers are actually losing a lot of customers. Not just the present, it's about the future because there's no trust. Don't anybody remember the basic of marketing? You need to satisfy your customers, get the trust of your customers, so that those customers can return and purchase your product when you release a new product. You know, Google it on, on the basic of marketing. You'll ever see it. I'll put it up here, you know. <laughs> Aren't they forgetting the basics of marketing you know if people aren't satisfied they will not come back because you'll be losing the trust of all the fan base the people who are sponsored and donated and one day possibly you'll regret you know those things that you do to all the consumers you, you just have to remember all or any games that any of the developers release at the end of the day 
the consumers are the one that buys it and the money is coming out of their own pockets to buy your game so that you can sustain your way or your company I don't think Epic's going to help you there. So the developers really need to think hard about this. You know? Put it on all platforms. If you're going to release some sort of announcement, you know, tell the truth. If you really need the money, say it, you know? Don't, don't give excuses. Don't give things that people know aren't true. Because a lot of people already know how Epic works. So don't say things that you're not supposed to be saying. Just tell the truth. And then you won't get that backlash. There has been one thing that uh, I'm actually waiting for though. Since Epic is all paying all these companies for exclusivity for one year. When is EA and Activision going to be knocking on their, on their door and say you want my exclusivity? 1 million, 2 million is not going to be enough <laughs> although they don't actually need the money but then you know EA and Activision like, want to suck all every cent you have in your pocket <laughs> anyway guys you know that's my event you know, and this, I'm trying to be reasonable here. And I hope you like the video. It's not something that I usually do. But if you do enjoy it, let me know in the comment. And please, you know, if you like it, leave a like as well. And um, if you want to support the channel, please subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. So see you guys next time. Offshore out.